going on y'all eric here driver lineup world's okay a steering wheel holder <clears throat> um i got a lot to get through in this video i'm gonna try i'll get to the fleet manager stuff here in a moment but um it's been a hell of a it's been a hell of a week and a half man uh just fighting fighting through winter in my last video i think i mentioned wind i think it was the last video talking about wind um and i've just been like completely bitch slapped by winter in every possible way uh shut down <laughs> just you name it i had to went through a nightmare of a situation to get my uh, engine air filter I couldn't find there didn't have one in stock at like eight different shops that I kept going to shop kept calling shops didn't have one for a Freightliner so I finally picked one up at Manuka and got that swapped out <clears throat> but I was over like two or three thousand miles on when I needed to have it replaced so I was just stressing out I had to replace glad hands in the most gnarly minus 10 with like minus 25 uh, wind chill <laughs> and there's so much ice and salt back there it was just miserable both my glad hands they were just uh they were just bent i think they're the original glad hands that were on this truck so they've put a quarter million miles on those glad hands it's pretty damn impressive but they were bent uh just enough to where it just wasn't making a good seal on both of them um, and so the the red line was leaking. It was it was leaking pretty bad. So I had to replace those in, in just the most miserable scenarios. It's been shut down, delayed on. I've been I've had detention. I got six hundred dollars in detention the other day. One thing after another. And now, so I parked last night, did a ten hour break, and um, everything's fine on the truck. I wake up, start the truck, got ABS light on the truck uh wheel speed sensor f something like that so adaptive cruise control all that stuff thrown out of whack um i went i got out from under the trailer and went back because i've got ice build up all over the place underneath the chassis and everywhere um so i went and knocked all that ice off but there wasn't anywhere the lines connecting to you know the abs system so it wasn't that i i thought it might be that it wasn't that um, so I don't know if there's there's a miscommunication happening somewhere I'm in snow right now so there's no way I mean you, you shouldn't drive ever drive a truck without with the ABS on anyway but certainly like I you know it's slip and slide just trying to move across the parking lot where I'm at right now so you know I can't I can't go 100 miles down the road to a dealership so I'm, I'm waiting right now to get into a shop at a truck stop um so it's just been man like i said i think it was the last video i've like completely avoided the gnarliest of winter up until that wind that i was caught up in for two days uh and couldn't move because i only had a 1700 pound uh load then when i got up to illinois um winter's just been just pounding me just right in the face so <laughs> i'm definitely getting it's payback for me for having not dealt with any of it for several months uh so anyway I'm trying to get a shot and get this dealt with uh, but i wanted to make a video because i got the worst call possible um tuesday not the worst call possible, but just a call I did not want to get. I've had two fleet managers since I've pulled freight for Prime. Uh, my first fleet manager was Chris Martin. Actually, I had a different fleet manager for uh, PSD. It was a company side fleet manager. I didn't, I don't think I ever, I may have met him once. My communication with him was like less than 10 minutes. I don't even remember his name when I came out of TNT, during TNT, when I came out of TNT, I had Chris Martin. And Chris Martin uh, left to go run the TNT side of the training department, I believe. 
Now, I know drivers, and Chris, if you ever watch this, uh, don't take this the wrong way, but I know drivers who didn't like Chris. <laughs> they found him uh, blunt and pretty, I'm trying to think of the right words. Drivers that I know that were on Chris's fleet found him uh, pretty direct. I don't know, I'm trying to be careful on how I say it because I don't want to like, I'm not trying to disparage him in any way. I loved Chris. I thought Chris Martin was a great fleet manager. Um, I think I butted heads with him like one time. One time we got into it, you know, and, it, and both sides were in the wrong and both sides acknowledged that. But it, outside of that, I had a, I loved Chris Martin. He was a great fleet manager, loved working with him. He loved working with me, um, was very successful at it, working under him as a fleet manager. And I hated it, hated it when he called and told me that he was leaving, that he was no longer gonna be a fleet manager. Make sure I don't, let me turn my ringer on here because I'm waiting on a call from this truck stop, from the shop. Um, hated it. <clears throat> and then he told me about my new fleet manager and said that I was really gonna love him. And that was Justin Mills. And, uh, Sure enough, Justin Mills has been probably the best thing about Prime since probably and Andrea Mueller um, for me in terms of having good working relationship, good contact, uh, good feedback, good information, just all of it. Justin Mills has been incredible. I cannot say enough good things about Justin. Such a great fleet manager. I mean, like literally not a single complaint. There's nothing I could think of that ever frustrated me about Justin, ever. Um, he was always very attentive, um, very just easy, easy going and relaxed and a great problem solver. Um, didn't, didn't procrastinate. He was just always on top of things and and it was great. And I've had him as my fleet manager for three years, three plus years. And so I get the call from him Tuesday telling me that he's leaving Prime. Or, you know, Chris didn't leave Prime, but he won't be my fleet manager anymore. He's, he's leaving, leaving, leaving Prime. And <clears throat> we had a good talk about the freight market and I think there's a lot of variables that play a role. I think the I think the market itself is probably one of the biggest variables. I don't want to speak for him, but that's the sense that I got, um, which doesn't inspire a lot of confidence. <laughs> but you know, it is what it is. So that is that is just uh, that's been a hard pill to swallow the last couple days. Because when you have a great, like I hear nightmare stories of fleet managers, and I don't know if it's, I think some of it's drivers that are just hard to work with too. But I think there are fleet managers that are probably just more um, short fused, I guess. Not as patient with drivers, um, not as understanding. And, you know, don't, there's, I know there's some fleet managers that, don't want to listen they just want to talk over you and I haven't had that experience um, and I find that if fleet managers just listen for a minute or two or road assist or really anyone then problems can get solved a lot better because in my experience if someone's not listening or not reading what I'm saying in the message then it just creates this constant loop of, okay, let me explain this again. Let me let me make this very, very clear as I did if you'd read the message or listened in the first place. You know what I mean? So I don't know if, I don't know if that's the root of a lot of problems of, that people have with fleet managers, but I haven't experienced it. I, I've had just fantastic fleet managers um, who I just haven't really had any complaints about. You know, it's just been a great working relationship. So it was just awful, awful to hear that Justin's leaving. Um, so I have a new flea manager. I haven't talked to him. Uh, I don't don't know him. I had never even heard his name. Uh, so that'll be very interesting to see how that goes. Now, I'm pretty low maintenance. Uh, it, 
it's my part of my mission to talk to my fleet manager as little as possible. Uh, I've I pretty much dispatch myself most of, nine out of ten times I dispatch myself off load choice so I'm not like back and forth arguing over loads or anything like that I just rarely ever talk to my fleet manager rarely ever and that's the way I want it I feel like if I'm if they're not hearing from me then I'm an easy truck to manage um, so I hope to keep it that way and and Justin you know he understood that I was safe and I was, I've never been late. I've got, uh, you know, I'm safety certified for all my time driving, no incidents, never been late. And I just want to be a truck that he just, that my fleet manager just never has to be concerned about, never has to think about, because I know they're going through tons of problems. So it'll be interesting to see how, how things go moving forward. It's not, it's not a comfortable, and it, to my new fleet manager, if he ever watches my channel, I know a lot of people at Prime did, including my last two fleet managers. Um, you know, this is not a knock on you. I don't, I just don't know you. Like, I, I just, uh, it just, it's kind of just uncharted territory, you know? Like, what? how's this gonna go down? I don't like it. Uh, that's something I've just never had to worry about. and. Not that I'm worried about it now, but it's like, am I gonna have to worry about it? It's it's worrying, wondering if I have to worry about it. So we'll see how that goes. But yeah, I've uh, officially parted ways with my fleet manager, Justin Mills, and that is sad. And Justin, if you watch this, um, as I said on the phone and as Jenna said in text, um, thank you, man. Thank you for being a friend. Uh, like Justin truly was a friend of ours and, and is a trend, a friend of ours. Um, and you know, Jenna got to work on the same floor as him when she was in house and, and they got to talk a lot and, and spend time together. So he's, he's a true friend, you know, um, we talked a lot of shit to each other in fun ways. Uh, he's very familiar with the red cup story. Very familiar. <laughs> so we always get, gave him shit about the red cup. Don't want to go into that, but uh, man, it just started snowing really hard. Um, so thank you, man. Thank you for, for being that for us. Thank you for being a friend. Thank you for being a great fleet manager. Thank you for just everything, man. And to my new fleet manager, you know, I hope that I hope that I can stay off your radar. That's that's what I hope happens. So anyway, <clears throat> if you've gone through fleet manager changes, I would love to know your thoughts. I'd love to know why good experiences, bad experiences. I can't get to every comment, um, just busy, busy, busy. But I do at least try to read all of them. Um, and I need to get better about responding too. So it's don't take it personally. I just haven't had the time for YouTube that I've had in the past, you know, is what it is. All right, guys, I'm going to get over here in the shop and get this. Hopefully, I'm next in line. I know they're working on a region in there right now, but I'm next in line. So hopefully this will be, I know they just opened the uh, bay doors. So hopefully this is going to happen pretty quick here. Man, if you're driving out there in the winter, be safe. Make good decisions, guys. As always, drive to thrive. Talk to you all soon.